action. The Biscayne, new model alert. Hey, how we doing? Friday afternoon? Sure is, guys. You got Eric and Justin here from Utopian Villas, and we are dropping model number two of five, the Biscayne. What do we got? Number two. See my flag? Yeah. Yeah. What's that say? It says 10. Next. 10. Guys, we may have 10 new models. I don't even okay. think Eric knew this. Me and Chris have been working on this. So you guys may see 10 new models here. We know we had five as we talked last week, one every week. We may have 10 for you. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. Nothing more to get me fired up on a Friday. So that's a guarantee we're doing 10 more models. Let's say 80%. 80%. Yeah. So you're not there. Not a guarantee. Yeah. Nothing's guaranteed, of course, yeah. in life. But uh, that's awesome news. Yeah, it's good. Because right? I, I enjoy doing this with you. Yeah, we're, we're excited. We're so, excited. So the Biscayne. This model, first off, just my initial thoughts, a lot of glass. I love it. It's beautiful. Very modern. Tell me what you guys did, why you did it. Yeah. You know, me, me and Chris worked on this one. Uh, Chris did a fantastic job. This has kind of taken on the name here in the office as the glass box, as that you sounds, can imagine. Yeah. I mean, there is glass everywhere. Um, you know, having that perfect view, lakefront, forest, what have you, man, you, you see the whole world. Yeah, and it has really more of like that, like Scandinavian style. That's all natural wood, I assume? Yeah, all natural cedar. Um, uh -huh. As you guys know, we're custom, right? So it wouldn't have to be cedar. It could be something else. But um, for this view, we want to show it really in its element. So Yeah, I mean, one thing I can say on the sales end aside, we work with so many clients who have purchased either a lake lot or, or some sort of property that has a beautiful view. And the reality is, is that they paid a good amount of money for that view. So it's our job and our responsibility to provide them with a home that's going to optimize that view, whether it be of the lake or of the mountains. And I think the Biscayne, it, it does just that. So I yeah. love it. Let's let's check out yeah. the inside. Yeah, and don't forget, guys, these waterfall steps. Yeah, that's really all. It, it totally just adds to that whole modern flair that this has. It's, it's awesome. Yeah, go, going inside, guys, really gets that top view. Can really see those decks here. So forgot to mention, totally knew this. Didn't realize until we had this top view. You have almost 300 square feet of deck space. So the top view helps out tremendously because, you know, a park model Utopian Villa is going to be 400 square feet. That's the first floor plan, okay? Lofts, porches, decks, that's all extra. This is giving you an additional 300 square feet. I think it's like 272, actually. Um, but, wow, that you don't really realize it until you get this view here. Yeah. That's awesome. Comes in, and, and, as you know, that leaves the factory that way. Those... Those decks are done out of the factory. The only thing you're doing on site is putting those stairs on. Okay, so you're telling me that this model, it, it's going to be delivered just like this. Just Absolutely. how they saw it. Absolutely. Wow. Short of those steps. So It's not yeah, often. Yeah, imagine yeah. that going down the road. I believe yeah. it. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Now, moving inside, guys, you know, your entries over here come up. If it's raining, got your stuff, you're not getting wet. You're automatically undercover. Come around here. This is your front entry. You're right into the action. Okay. Yeah, I mean, and granted, of course, if you guys are going to do decks, uh, I mean decks, if you guys are going to do railings, that is something to think about. You know, some people might want to have the wraparound porch uh, or the stairs everywhere. Some might just have an access point to where then they rail the rest off. It just depends on the grade of the actual property we put it on. So all of our units stay very low to the ground because of our patented floor system. Um, so depending on the grade and all that, we'll kind of figure it out. Depends on what you guys want, but no. this whole layout is awesome. This is a big enough deck on the side to actually utilize. So this floor plan, I love it. Again, all this glass. Show them the glass there again. Give them an idea of all where that is. Here. You're in that kitchen. You're in that living room. No matter what you're doing, you're entertaining. You are seeing the view you paid for, and that's what's important to us. That's what I know my customers are looking for. Yeah, yeah you got you got the glass here. You got your full nine-foot padded right here. And what you don't see, there's glass all above here up high. Okay. So you have three sides in here, completely glass. Yeah. Now, I get it. This might not be the model for everybody, right? Because there is a lot of glass. Yeah. I mean, you, you don't want to have a neighbor, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, right? you, that or you just come to walking around, you know? So. Hey, some of us are, you know? But the reality is you can always get shades, guys. There's always ways to fix yeah. a problem, right? Yeah. We're the problem solvers. Let's get you something beautiful. If you have the view, we're going to make sure that we optimize it with the build. Full-size appliances? Yeah, full-size appliances. Oh, yeah, that's that you fun. know, our standard, that's, you know, it's, you know, we start there. We can always downscale from that. You know, one thing here to think about is, you know, we did our standard, I would say our standard horseshoe-style kitchen. Does impede a little bit into this living room. But remember, if you wanted to, you know, we could take this, take this off completely, maybe make it a rolling island, put the sink here, 
couple things. Now you have this all open here. Yep. Space if you want. So you got those options to do. So again, it just depends. I mean, we build we build villas part full time, uh, mother in law suites, vacation yeah. homes, rental properties. It just depends on what the client's looking for. But they know, of course, we have the ability to optimize and make sure that we customize it to give them what they want. So, and I see a washer and dryer in there as well. That's yeah. already figured in. Standard space. washer and dryer in the okay. hallway. Then it leads cool. you into this bathroom. Again, looks like a nice size bathroom. All of our bathrooms, that's kind of one of our bread and butters. We try to have all those full size amenities just like you're accustomed to at home. So though you're downsizing, you don't even realize it because we have all those little trigger points that remind you of your full size home. Yeah. And we got a bench in the shower. Is that like something that comes in there? It's a piece of it or how's that? Yeah, so th this is the first time for us. So um, this one we got stairs going to the loft. Okay. And underneath these stairs, we put the shower, tiled shower, walk-in shower, and we got a bench in there. So sit down, just relax under the hot water or cold water if you like. And ladies, place to put your legs to shave your legs. Yeah, and that that's just all about convenience. I mean, and again, to add a steamer to a unit, I mean, we have a customer right now that's doing a steam room in their tiny house. Just the actual unit is five thousand dollars, okay? But I can guarantee you that if you can close off that space and close the door just to sit and run the hot water, it'd be relaxing. Yeah, and it's absolutely. really not costing you any more. I'd enjoy it. No, absolutely. That's absolutely. a great idea you guys did there. Yeah. And then we lead into the master bedroom. I would say our typical. Standard, mm -hmm. we start out with a queen size bed, standard nightstands, both sides, charge your phones, put your knickknacks, whatever there. And we got some storage space in there. So we designed this with just a sliding door closet but again as you know we do a lot of different storage options whether it be under the bed can rearrange this closet it just depends on what you're using the home for let me ask you a question here so though we don't really see it in this situation um from the top view but so i see the loft line on there right well show them where the loft line is that's that's going to be where the loft begins now is that exposed to down below or is that just the wall in this unit in, in this unit this is sealed off okay it's sealed off but let, let's take a look here because that's something that we could do if you wanted to, we go to the loft here. These are the stairs, guys, coming up from the first floor. So you're coming up the stairs. You get to have the stairs, we're either going right or we're going left. And you even put little, there's little pocket doors in there. Yeah, little pocket doors for privacy. Very cool. You know, kids, adults, whoever stay in there. Both shown as queen size beds. Okay. So, you know, sleep in two in both of those. You got some more room here. You know, you can do some storage stuff up here as well. You know, you mentioned about this wall, right? This wall that we talked about is, you know, it's just a wall. But and that's where you'd open it up if you want. Could open that up. Okay. And when you get up here, this could be a bedroom that does a lot of privacy. You go to the left here, this could be open to okay. the wall if you wanted to. So just now, depends. Now let me ask you another question, because you know, we were just down in Texas not that long ago and saw just some regular park models from other manufacturers and you know, a lot of them are actually putting just cheap window mount air conditioners up in the loft. How are you gonna heat and cool the lofts up there? Yeah, that that you know that that certainly is a challenge in a model like this. Not only does the glass present, you know, some difficulties with just mostly the heat, really, um, but keeping these bedrooms cool in the summer is the problem. Heat's never an issue, even in any house. Hot air rises, right? So it's the cold air. So what we've done is we have a recirculation system that actually moves the air from that first floor okay. up into both these bedrooms to keep these at a comfortable level. So when it is 90 100 degrees in the summer in texas yep it's comfortable so so, so what justin just touched base on and i just wasn't sure how he's going to do it up in the lofts is that part of our patented floor system again our patented floor system it's over 20 inches deep and we have the ability to run ductwork in the floor with circular with fans that are going to circulate the air and push it throughout the house just like in a traditional home with a forced air system so just where the head unit's mounted, which is what you're going to get when a customer normally does choose a mini split unit. Yeah. The air and the heat and cool is not just coming from that head unit. It's actually being pushed throughout the entire house so that every room is the same temperature wise. And now you're telling me the lofts too. Yeah. Lofts One last question. Yeah. Under the lofts, ceiling height, what do we got? Is it really small? Because I've been in units where underneath the loft is short. Yeah. So can really go two ways with that, Eric. So and this model, the way we developed it, it's 84 inches tall on the first floor. So, okay. guys, at seven feet, if you didn't know, um, that will give you up in these two bedrooms just under five feet. Wow. Which so, five feet? That's the max. 60 inches? That's the six, max we can Yeah, 60 inches for a park model is the max that you okay. can have. So, you know, if you were fine with four feet up there and wanted a little bit more, you know, had to run a lower level, yep. then you can do that. So, but 
most people that we find 84 inches is totally fine yeah. um and they want to have that extra space up here so yeah and these two windows guys these are the windows that are upstairs here yep and you got one on the side so and we got one over here and you got some on the other side and here so even, windows even, galore. Yeah, even even though uh we don't have those big tall windows and like the first floor if you're up in one of these bedrooms, you can see all around. So. No, for sure. I don't know what about you guys. I love it. I think it's an awesome model. The Biscayne, um, what, we got some more models coming. I don't even know how many at this point. Could be four more. Who knows? I don't know what these guys are cooking up half the time. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Give me your feedback. We want your feedback. We're trying to get better and better every week as we do these. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy, guys. Enjoy yourselves. See you later.